Danny Biggs can take her and snatch her up in a fucking minute. All he has to do is make a call. Daddy Biggs? All he has to do is answer one of her private messages. Derek is retarded. Derek is retarded. What I'm trying to get at if you had to make the camera right out and say it. Wait, this sign meant my husband. Who raised Junior Chick? Who helped poor Junior out of the crazy body? Is you big man? I'm that down south, real McCoy. Pull up and deploy at them silver rattle doors. DNA molecules filled with top soil. Solidify for certain, we them fucking holla boys. Holla boys. Swag too authentic for a poser trying to copy. Don't be nagging me with text if you ain't round when I got problems. And if she riding in my truck, that pussy smell like peach cobbler. I'm the dopest white boy. Didn't even need a doctor. Been a rebel since the junk. Ten years, never switching. Got my blue collar pop. Sprinkle Tennessee on top, then I'm the perfect coalition If they mad, it's cause I'm rich, I dress like shit with teeth missing Still bad to the bone, I got skeletal precision I know the game's so good, the game listen for predictions The shit is like Jumanji, every move animalistic And you can't walk in my shoes, I ain't got none, I'm on some preach shit Don't be asking if I'm legit Face up an icon, never be a reprint Club game clan legion Only thing that matters is we out here and we deep, bitch Overall, I'm a motor haul. This lifestyle I overhaul To a lane with cars, but I set the bar With stars across, I need deep frost Mug and bubba give you trouble Don't fall in a deep loss I'ma keep it A1, I feel like I'm chugging steak sauce Even police be approaching me They be like they hoss When I pull up in this thing for papers Like I'm getting blocked Dirty, dirty motherfucker <laughs> Floyd, I want to say, how about that wife's falling apart, buddy? How about that wife of yours that's falling apart? When we come back and put her up, put her together like a puzzle, and fuck her and break her back to pieces, because you're starting to piss me real the fuck off, motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's funny when my fucking son is eight, just turned 18 years old. Condones in the same thing that I condone him. None of y'all trash around here. None of y'all spreading shit back and forth. That's why he can't stand me. I'll call the adult services for you. Right here it is on my table. To the Department of Health and Human Resources. I'm going to record it. And you're going you to hear what they have to say. Okay, whatever. Just like my son said. Until you get away from it, Dad. All these people are going to kick you. That's what he has said. I thought it was one of my friends or friends, man. That wasn't a friend. It's your uh, so-called brother. It's not my long neck, brother. Stop better pray when I do call back, his voicemail does pick up. You see what I'm saying? Because what I'm going to tell to him is just what I just said. You burnt my fucking clothes my dead sister bought me. You burnt my fucking clothes my dead sister bought me. Multiple times, and you and Donald did it together. And now it's a problem <laughs> because he's attacking you, you know? You have threatened to kill me. You have threatened to burn my son up. You have done everything. You caused me more trouble than Donald ever did. Donald just started this shit not long ago. This boy's been doing this for six years. I would, no fucking way. Brandy's sweetheart, I would hurt that boy very bad if I got hurt very, very, very fucking bad. Motherfucker, if he remembers that, burn my goddamn clothes and shit and all that. Let's put all that behind us. I'll put it behind you when I break your fucking jaw halfway to your face. You are? Yeah. Bro, it's all the aggravation Turkey's putting you through. Fucking kill you. I've got everything here to do. He's fucking dragging you into this shit. I seen him how he drug you into that in front of that camera the last time. Now sit right here. Sit right here. And you tell them this and you tell them that. It's like, man, everybody on the internet seen that shit. It's like elder abuse, man. Really is. Yeah. He gets mad at me and he's gonna drag you in the middle of it. Yeah, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know how to get on the phone. And I know, I, 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 I know that. I really know that. I, I and I wouldn't, if I could, I'm not like that. 
Well, you know, I'm going to defend myself with him. Uh, he ain't going to get on there and talk about my, my wife, my kids. And just sitting there saying, oh, yeah, uh, the, his old lady uh, crawled up in a bed and there's a fucking vibrator dildo in the dildo even fell in pieces and all kind of and commit suicide, all kind of fucking, all kind of stupid shit. Yeah, the thing is, she's never met him, dude. She never goes on the internet and says anything, dude. You know, I, 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 just like I was telling the, telling my members and my followers on the internet, you know, I wish she would get on there and watch some videos and see what's going on. Because he's sitting there lying to you fucking like a dog. To get you to get on there and to try to say shit to try to hurt me. That's all it is. That's all it's about. Oh, you know, I don't mean I gotta do what I have to do. I'll be punished. I know, I know that. I absolutely do know. You know what, Bo? There's gonna be a day I'm gonna get my hands on him, and it ain't gonna be good. I'm serious now. I love you to death. You're my sister. I'd do anything I can for you, but there's gonna be a day that I get my hands on that boy, and I'm gonna fucking hurt that kid, man. This girl named Rachel, she said, did you get your $80? I said, what are you talking about? She said, I sent you $80 for Christmas uh, uh, on three scans there. Wow. And I said, oh, and she tried to send me 25 at Western Union. We couldn't get it to work. So she texted me and told me she's making me a card and putting a lot of money on it and going back to my box to where he couldn't get his hands on it. He's she, fucking taking your money. She, she texted me the message, said, my mommy wants to know if you got $30. Uh, she's in a bad spot right now. She'll pay you back uh, Monday when she gets paid. Everything I found it. She sent it to me. Wow. See? See? That's what he does on the internet. That's what he does on the internet. Please, please. I promise you won't say nothing, man. I ain't gonna say nothing. 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 I know he puts his fucking hands on you. That's another thing I'm gonna get him for. Fucking putting his hands on you. Oh, oh I know it's physically. Mentally. Mental abuse. Wow. He's still putting his hands on you? I fucking want the truth. No. I promise you, I'll stand my foot down, just like Billy told me. But he's still doing the old mental, he's still doing the mental abuse, huh? No, Billy's paralyzed in jail. He said if I can do it, he can do it. Hey, but but he's still mental abusing you, right? Calling you bitches and whores and all that shit. No. Just. That's fucked up, man. I couldn't couldn't do my mother the way he does you. Dragging you in front of the cameras on the computers and calling your names and all. I couldn't do it to my mother to save my soul. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. Well, that's good. I'm cutting my finger and I was cutting in the quick and they're against long on those. I've never cut it. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. If he knew you would even talk to me, he'd be fucking flipping out. Oh, yeah. Don't say nothing, please. I ain't going to say a word. I ain't going to say a word. I'm going to say a word. I'm going to say a word. I'm going to say a word. Well, I'll just, I'll get off of here, but hey, Merry, Merry Christmas. I love you, man. Merry Christmas. I love you. I love you. Well, you take care of yourself. Just go, Thank hey, you. go to note. Yep. I, I, hey, go to note. I don't say nothing about you, man. I know. Tell Tracy and the kids I love them. I love y'all. Merry Christmas. I will. Hey, she's right here. She says she loves you too, Bo. Okay. All right. Talk to you. I'll talk at you. All right. Bye. Later. Later. See our mental abuse. Yeah, got my job took. Almost got probably. I'm probably still might just. I don't know yet. It's gonna be close, but uh, might end up being homeless over this bullshit. Somebody calling into my, somebody calling into Graybo, fucking sending him stupid pictures that are fucking hacked. You can't even. Only thing he heard to piss him off. Oh, I want to do a line. I want to do a line. And when the phone was black looking. Anybody can edit that with anybody's voice clippings. Uh, I could sit on here and get if we were talking like I'm talking to you, and I, I, I and I had the, the ten, what was it, the ten uh, uh, is it the ten IP or mega, uh, megapixel windows, some shit like that. Anyhow, there's an app you can download on your 1080 pixel, uh, and this app is voice recognition apps apps, and they can recognize your voice, your daughter's voice, my vo- anybody's voice in this fucking world. 
And you can, if you got like a few minutes of that voice, you could sit and make a whole story telling it in that voice. And I tried to show Graybo that shit, but he wouldn't listen to me. But yeah, no, nah, I landed me a fucking good job, dude. I mean, I might not be making as much, but I'm, I've already got me a van. I've already got me a gas card. And by God, I mean, hell, I think I made like five, almost, almost 5,000. Yeah. Just four, four thousand nine hundred and ninety eight dollars. So it's like two dollars off of five thousand dollars a month. Well, at this job, I'm only fucking making twenty five, twenty three, twenty five hundred dollars. So I cut my pay in half, man. But I don't got to travel and go out of state and do all that shit. Miss my family, you know. So more time with the family, you got to put some sacrifices in on it. You, you, you're either going to have more time with the family or, you know, more money. And me, I went the more money way for five years. So, you know, maybe the next five years, I'll have more time with them, you know, because we're not going to live forever, obviously. But, yeah. Well, that's all I wanted to say, dude, you know. And I, I'm, I'm glad you ain't in behind it, buddy. I really am. I mean, that, that does please me because I've, I've always got along with you, dude. I really did it. If I didn't get along with you, I wouldn't have called you up right, right after I said what I said about your wife and apologized to it within either that day or hours into that day. You know, might have been the next day. I'm not sure, but I know, I know one thing. I called her, I called her back. I called you back and I apologized for what I said. Have you seen anybody apologizing for me? What they did to my family? Almost got us kicked out of our home. Talking about my wife, talking about my kids. Fuck no. So why should, why should I even, why should I, why should I care? Give a fuck about nobody's family but my own. Well that's, well, that's cool, dude. I think we can meet on some kind of remedial spec thing to have. If we're going to go at it at each other, let's let's don't put the families in it, man. I would never put your family in a picture on Facebook and make fun of your daughter or your, your wife. You, you didn't see me do that, did you? I would never put your family in a picture on Facebook and make fun of your daughter or your your wife. You, you didn't see me do that, did you? Because I, I wouldn't. I ain't got the heart for that because I'm a family man. You know? And, and, and you got to think of the weirdos out there that sees this shit, dude. You know? But, hey, I'm cool with that. You know? I'm cool with that, dude. Besides, I wanted to tell you I'm sorry about what I said about your wife anyhow, man. It, it bothered, bothered, but as soon as I got it out, it bothered me. Let's be honest with you. As soon as I said it, it, it fucking bothered me. So... I, I mean, it could have been the next day I told you. I'm not sure, but she's doing good. Things are getting better with her. Oh, I know you. I know it wasn't you, bro. They got me fired at least. Uh, they told me it was a girl, unless unless they were trying to throw me off. But I like this job I got now. Hell, I got me my own little work van. I'm going to be getting here in about another month. And a gas card. And I get to stay in town. Shit. Hell yeah. Might not make as much, but I, I, I mean, hey. It's paving the American dream, and I'm back at home where I love, back in West Virginia. I don't know if, I don't know what time I'm going to be coming back up, if it's going to be tomorrow or the next day. Huh? What, babe? Yeah. But all right there. All right, Walls, man. I'll let you go, dude. You, if you see something, dude, on there, hit me up, and I'll do the same for real. Uh, you know, because you know how when me and Dirk was going at it, I would call him and cool him down, and then somebody else would fucking get him going. It's like, God damn, I just had that kid cool down, and these motherfuckers can't go for five minutes without fucking breaking his fucking neck. All of that gold on it. <laughs> nah, for real, though, dude. Uh, you know, I hope your wife gets better, man. I really do, because I know you love her, dude. And she loves you. But, all right, buddy. You hang in there. Hit me up sometime, man. I'll be liking your music. I'll be watching, uh, oh, fuck. I was, I thought, I, I was sitting there, uh, I was sitting there about to go on about something else with somebody else. I caught myself. <laughs> but, all right, man, I'm going to crash. I already know I'm fucking tired as hell, man. But that's cool, bro. And I appreciate it, man. God bless you and your family. Man, he let a dude fuck him for an eighth of weed and a Cleveland Browns hat. Can you believe that, dude? Coming out of Boone County and looking at that dude, the way he looks... Yeah, man, I believe it. Drugs will make you do some strange shit sometimes, Johnny. <laughs> I'm about that life, about that life, about that life. Yeah, hey, I done 
done seen stuff that'll make you traumatized. Legal with the iron bubble, shit'll blow your mind. Your boy telling lies, I can see it in his eyes. They say I'm out my mind, now I say it's my time. Greetings, from the belly of the beast of where all this shit started. It's your mans, your ace of the gobbler verse, your gatekeeper of the dirty verse. It's your disciple who moves through silence and secrecy for the seeking of truth, Scooter Beggins, with BCMCE, and I am here to speak on the why. A lot of people recently have commented and messaged me wanting to know why I do what, I do, and don't let off. And this little video is a testament to why I do what I do. If these dudes were just junkies on the internet, I would have zero interest on staying around and making sure they get their karma. Hell, there's lots of way cooler junkies out there with way bigger numbers that I could troll, and with the editing and storytelling skills I have, no doubt I would reach a much broader audience and my channel would be much more successful. The problem with this is, these two inbred degenerates have talking shots at me that words simply will never justify. There's no words that I could say to them and about them that would even the score, if you will. And the reason for that is, they have both wished bad on not only my wife, but also my children. And the only way to properly combat that, would be to do the same. And we here, at BCMCE do have a code of ethics just like any other reputable organization. And we do not go after innocent women, or, children in any way form or fashion. And out of the three years I have been here, I have never spoken ill of, or openly doxed any minors. And it's funny because these two motherfuckers will swear the same thing, and turn around and blast minor children online for tens of thousands to see creating a sense of fear to small kids that have absolutely nothing to do with YouTube. And as far as women go, there is a big big difference between my woman, and Donald's woman. My woman has never once involved herself into any of my videos, in the background, like a fucking parrot, talking shit for her man to sit, there and repeat. She don't do this for a few reasons. One being I don't need a woman to talk my shit for me or to sit in the background and come up with shit for me to say. And secondly, my woman knows her place and not to get involved with what I do on the internet. The shit just simply don't interest her. And that's okay. My woman has her way of dealing with things, and my way of a release is, coming on here and speaking my mind. And stopping abusive degenerates from having a platform of yes men who don't even know their truths. And then when you add into the mix of some ego-filled losers who stick batteries on this dude's back and use Nodled as a speaker. A mouthpiece. These same fucking people have been moving the goalposts for years and years trying to turn people against my truth, all, while doing all the same things in return. These people are fucking literal hippies and junkies with just as sad of life as Durkee and Donald's. And deep down inside they fucking know it making up invisible fucking storylines and then not backing shit up. They know they have nothing but just proof that they have hurt Fifi's and their content is absolute fucking trash bags. But I digress. I'm not going to make this about those losers, while I'm still talking about these losers. The ones who know, already know. You wouldn't begin to imagine the amount of people who have reached out to me to tell me they are rocking with us because they see right through the bullshit. They just aren't going to go public about it in fear of the repercussions they know they would get. So I fully understand. Look here. Since the beginning of this channel I have never sat here like most and stroke my own ego and tell you all how perfect I am, and how I have all the material things in the world, and all that whack shit all these content creators do on YouTube thinking they are somebody. Hell, I had to sit here and listen to two people who knew nothing about cannabis cultivation, argue with one, another about how one was better than the other at growing, when their answers weren't even at beginner's level. But again, I digress. Since coming on here, I've told you all how much I know I come from a long line of poor scumbags. And I have a dark soul. And I used to be an active drug addict. 
you all already know all this, and I promise you, I never forget how much of a dark shitty motherfucking soul I have. I literally told you all I know I'm doomed. Doomed to a dark hell. So you'll think any of you all can hurt my feelings? Oh hell no. Just be ready to pay the cost of all the shit you people wanna spread negatively on ones who don't deserve it. Cause each and every one of you all are going to get exactly what you people deserve. And I'm going to sit right here and continue to be that black karma coming for Derek, Gobble, Cecil, Donald, and everyone else who wants to keep fuming the flames. And I promise you idiots are already making you all look real fucking stupid with the shit you all are saying. I don't even have to put out receipts to prove you chodes don't know what you all are talking about. Want to know why? Because the real OGs who were actually here since day one remember exactly how everything went. The only thing you all have proven is that you all are not real Dirky vs alumni. That's all you fucking faggots are showing. That's it, that's all. And with all that being said, stop bullshitting and just admit most of you all came in during the gobble rush. Cause you all's lips are proving that when you all came around. Tick. Tock. Tick. Tock. Boom. Scooter bro, I thought we was vabbing out dog. Damn man. Just like that, I realized we still ain't cool, man. I didn't want anything more than to be close to you, Scooter. I love you from the soul, G. I truly thought we were soulmates. I guess not. Would you still send me those football cards you were going to give me, Daddy? You already know I'll show you a good time when you get down here, Daddy. Just let me know. Daddy begs always wins. Scooter, look here, bro. Tracy has no choice but to sit next to me, bro. Between us, Scooter, I'm scared of forgetting what I'm talking about or who I'm talking to, so I keep her there to remind me. You know the Xanax blurs, bro. I shouldn't have to explain, but you need to just act right, bro. Let me shit on you for views, man. These retarded ass subscribers don't know no difference, bro. I just want their money. Scooter, help me, bro. Scooter, look here, bro. If I want to sniff some opanas or smoke cocaine, I'm going to motherfucker. If I want to eat acid, shrooms, men's buttholes, or shoot meth in my veins, motherfucker, I'm gonna. I'm not fucking scared of you. Scooter Beggins, who the fuck are you, dude? You ain't shit, motherfucker. Fuck BCMCE, I'm the original ODWB bitch. Skeletal precision. I know the game so good, the game listen for predictions. The shit is like Jumanji, every move animalistic. And you can't walk in my shoes, I ain't got none, I'm on some preach shit. Preach, shit, preach shit. Don't be asking if I'm legit. Face up a icon, never be a reprint. Woo. Club game, clan, legion. Only thing that matters is we out here and we deep, bitch. Overall, I'm a motor haul. This lifestyle I overhaul. Do a lane with cars, but I set the bar with stars across. I need deep frost. Mug and bubba give you trouble. Don't fall in a deep loss. I'ma keep it A1. I feel like I'm chugging steak sauce. Even police be approaching me. They be like, hey, house. When I pull up in this thing for papers like I'm Ken Block. Dirty, dirty motherfucker rolling with the beat block. Southern state earthquake. Every time a beat drop. And I ain't never threw a cheap shot Ain't no Broadway girls without tops in my barn loft Only baddies got my addy cause they top notch If life is a game, bed frame full of lore crop. Tomb Raider, if I feel you ain't been killed enough Only way I'm underground is if I go and dig it up 
But my bunker's still thumping from 2016 Grew up on a farm with some moon pies and caffeine Royalty to country, won't you let me grab a RC? Take a bite out of the sky that people said I won't reach Up motherfucking church, I'm on fire but still I go preach On another level cause I stole the devil's goatee Oh, and I forgot. Tick tock.